In 1996, Jim Collins and his research team set out to answer one simple question: Can a good or an average company become a great company? And if so, then how? Most great companies grew up with superb parents, founders like George Merck for Merck the pharma and biotech giant, Walt Disney for the Disney, R K Dhamani for Avenue Supermart, who instilled the seeds of greatness early on. But what about the vast majority of the companies that wake up part way through life and realize that they are good and average but not great? The good to great companies mentioned in this book gave returns seven to ten times the average stock market. Those kind of returns coming from a remarkable company does not sound so unobvious, but these kind of results coming off from companies which were once unremarkable makes us ponder that what are these ingredients for the transformation? These concepts may help us not just in opening our own business, analyzing the companies in which we want to buy stocks in, that whether or not they have in them the chemical X to turn from an average to a great company, but even us as entity called human beings, why only few are great? This is the better investor helping you achieve your financial goals and freedom through organizing your finance, stock market investing, and learning from billionaires. And these are. Top five lessons from the book, good to great, written by Jim Collins. Lesson number one: Good is the enemy of great. Yes, you heard it right. It is for this reason why we have so little that becomes great. We don't have great schools, great governments, principally because we have good schools and good governments. Few people attain great lives in large part because it is just so easy to settle for a good life. The vast majority of companies never become great, precisely because the vast majority become quite good, and that is the main problem. Walgreens, a company mentioned in this book, a now leading drugstore brand in America, Jim asked the CEO, Cork Walgreens, to go deeper to know the key concept to go from good to great, and he said, "Once he understood a simple concept, which was to be the best, most convenient drugstore with high profit per customer visit." They just scaled the concept consistently without deviating from it. It embarked on the systematic program to replace all inconvenient locations with the convenient ones, preferably a corner location in the market. If a great corner location would open up just half a block away from profitable Walgreens store in good location, they would shut down the good store even at the cost of one million dollar of lease cost to open the store in great location. They were the first to start the concept of drive-through in America, which was later copied by many fast food chains of the like of McDonald's and Burger Kings. Till 1975, a company which was barely able to go along with the stock market index became a profit machine, not just for the business but for the investors too, beating some of the archaic corporations of the world during that time of the likes. Of Coca-Cola, Intel, GE, etc., by huge leaps. The point is not being in the game where you can never be great. The first puzzle is to think what is the thing at which you can be great at. Whether or not the thing at which you are good at, can you become best at it? If the answer is yes, then continue. If the answer is not really, then get rid of the good and embark upon greatness another bank called the wells fargo was an average bank in america but it did pretty good business from its branches in west united states it understood that in no way could it become the greatest super global bank of the likes of goldman sachs and bank of america so it got rid of its business in rest of the america and focused its entire business into west united states making it a phenomena in west america where even till now no one could ever compete with them the idea of good is the enemy of great propagates beyond businesses we are too happy in our comfort zones and in a way there is entirely nothing wrong in being good you can be a good teacher a good lawyer a good athlete but greatness requires you to rise beyond good that may mean ditching your good thing or rising above it lesson number 2 hedgehog concept if the lion is the king of the jungle then hedgehog is the king of the forest yes you read it right the hedgehog why because he's got the simplest defense strategy of them all and in any attack situation he knows what to do 
curl up and become an untouchable, spiky, rock-like, unbreakable fortress. Clever foxes and snakes can come up with as many cunning strategies as they want. The hedgehog will always react the same and he'll always come out on top. Jim Collins says that companies that go from good to great always figure out their very own hedgehog concept. Hedgehog concept is nothing but a strategy that a company comes up with that it can continue pushing for ages, which eventually make them number one. Apple as we know today has actually mastered it. It was not too late couple of decades back in 1997 that Apple was on the verge of bankruptcy. It wasn't even an average company. But look at it now. You really have to read it for yourself to believe that what I'm saying is right. The strategy of Apple is simple. They always keep coming out with new models of the products in every two to three years keeping the cameras one of the highest quality and operating systems lovely keeping the accessories hard to be configured with anything non apple making it premium and luxury on a broad scale there is nothing much that changes every model starting from small ipod back in 2003 to the latest version of iphone today the designs have always been minimalist with no clutter the price of the product is definitely on the high end and they have never lowered it You'll be surprised to know that most of the sales of an iPhone happens when the new model launches and the new model becomes old and its price drops. The model when it goes old that is when it has the highest sales. Apple has been simply following this strategy over and over and over again since almost a couple of decade now and even now they look pretty strong. Collins breakdown the hedge of concept as being the accumulation of the following three good to great principles. First What can you be the best in the world at which is almost covered in lesson number 1 second what drives a economic engine a company can become great regardless of the industry in which they find themselves the key is to build a formidable economic engine that is based on deep insights about the economic reality and third what you are deeply passionate about good to great companies don't decide upon an idea and then encourage their team to become excited about it instead they start by only pursuing that which inspires the team members when a company can find a unifying concept which links all three of these factors then that is its hedgehog concept more often than not good to great companies started out as not being the best in the world at anything however they all in turn began the search for the defining hedgehog concept and even though on average it took them 4 years to find this defining concept they never wavered from it once they discovered it lesson number 3 technology accelerators on july 28 1998 drugstore.com one of the first internet pharmaceutical companies came out with an ipo and listed on stock exchange at 24 dollars within seconds of opening bell in the stock stock multiplied nearly three folds to 69 dollars creating a market valuation of 3.5 billion dollars not bad at all for an enterprise that had sold products for less than 9 months had fewer than 500 employees offered no hopes for dividends to investors for years if not decades and deliberately planning to lose hundreds of million of dollars before turning a sizable dollar in profit what rational did people use to justify such valuations and price new technology will change everything the logic went the internet is completely going to revolutionize the business that time humans entered a great era in history when the whole idea of trying to build a great company seemed quaint and outdated it was a frenzy at the high point of this frenzy drugstore.com issued challenge to walgreens at first walgreens lost 40% of the price within few months leading to the ipo of drugstore.com drugstore.com was trading at 398 times revenue and walgreens at 1.4 times its revenues revenues and not earnings because drugstore.com did not have any earnings analysts even downgraded walgreens stock and the market cap of walgreens evaporated by 50 billion dollar during this time then managing director of drugstore.com said walgreen is nowhere in a competition they are nothing but an old company with old way of running it is sad but they are very soon going to run out of business and walgreens response to this frenzy instead of reacting like a chicken hurted they decided to pause and reflect slow at first which is barely crawling walgreens became experimenting with a website while engaging in intense internal dialogue and debate about its implications with the concept of its own peculiar hedgehog concept how will internet connect to our convenience concept they tied up with doctors 
to fill prescription online and pick up medicines from the window which was the pharma drive through concept or have it shipped to you more convenient then finally walgreens bet big launching an internet site as sophisticated and well designed as pure.coms as it happened walgreens stock price started zooming up back in the old trajectory and now you may ask what happened to the drugstore.com a year later after its ipo drugstore.com continued to accumulate losses it announced a layoff to conserve cash drugstore.com had lost all its value post the dot com bubble burst the book good to great was published in 2001 and just with my inquisitive mind i wanted to find out whether drugstore.com is still alive and what i saw was surprising drugstore.com was acquired by walgreens in 2011 for a mere 409 million dollars that for me was a complete thug life on part of walgreens the point author tries to make is that good to great companies see technology as an accelerator always be wary of new innovations only jump on bandwagon once you convinced they help you improve your hedgehog concept visi calc was the first to innovate spreadsheet idea later copied by microsoft to make excel microsoft powerpoint of which we know today was developed by a company called forethought and the program called presenter microsoft was not the one to innovate it reliance industries jio was not the first one to run behind telecom innovation in india google was not the first search engine facebook was not the first social media platform good to great companies are not sheep who run behind new innovation and technology they patiently wait and reflect they use technology to accelerate the business and not as the key concept to thrive on it lesson number 4 the flywheel for this good to great principle collins conjures up the image of an individual trying to move a considerable 5000 pound metallic disc which is a flywheel which is mounted horizontally on an axle at first it seems impossible to push After a bit of momentum it generated it becomes easier to rotate after many rotations it flies forward with an almost unstoppable force to ask which of the pushes the flywheel was given was the deciding push that gave it such speed is to miss the point it was the accumulation of all the efforts combined that got the wheel moving this image is what a company looks like when it is making the transition from good to great From the outside it often appeared as though these good to great companies miraculously made their ascent to greatness overnight as if one deciding factor changed their fortunes forever however from the inside the transformation was experienced as much more organic gradual development process fascinatingly many executives at these great companies stated that they were unaware that such a major transformation was afoot even when their company was well on its way to greatness the biggest take away from the flywheel effect and the doom loop is that sustainable transformation follow a prolonged period of build up before a lasting breakthrough can take place there are no quick fixes and just like the adage goes good things comes to those who wait and who vigorously pursue their hedgehog concept lesson number 5 first who then what the executives who ignited good to great transformation started by first getting the right people on the bus and the wrong people of the bus and then figured out where to drive it the reason is that when you begin with who rather than what you can more easily adapt to an ever changing world to be clear the key take away here is not just hiring the right people instead it is that hiring the right people comes before determining vision strategy structure or tactics such people should be recruited primarily for their character and work ethic rather than because of the education skills or knowledge that can be acquired on the job there are three practical disciplines for making people decisions first when in doubt don't hire and keep looking when you know that you need to make a change act put your best people on the biggest opportunities not your biggest problems when you have the right people the problem of how to motivate and manage largely goes away the right people don't need to be tightly managed or fired up they are self motivated and capable of generating results so creating an environment where hard working people can thrive and lazy workers jump ship are let go to be clear having great people doesn't mean they will always agree with each other it's best if they fiercely debate ideas in pursuit of best answers to original questions and then when all is said and done unify fully behind final decision regardless of personal interest for contrast 
कंपेरिजन कंपनीज ऑफर टुक द जीनियस विद अ थाउजेंड हेल्पर्स अप्रोच अ बोल्ड लीडर वुड सेट अप द विजन एंड देन कॉर्डिनेट विद हेल्पर्स टू टर्न इट इन टू रियालिटी अनफॉर्चुनेटली दिस अप्रोच फेल्स अपार्ट वेन एवर द लीडर लीव्स द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लेट्स हैव अ क्विक रीकैप द वास्ट मेजोरिटी ऑफ कंपनीज नेवर बिकम ग्रेट प्रिसाइसली बिकॉज द वास्ट मेजोरिटी बिकम क्वाइट गुड एंड दैट इज देर मेन प्रॉब्लम द फर्स्ट पीस ऑफ पजल इन हेजो कॉन्सेप्ट इज टू आइडेंटिफाई वॉट यू कैन बी ग्रेट एट इफ बींग ग्रेट मीन्स टू लीव द थिंग यू आर गुड एट यू मस्ट डू सो हेजो कॉन्सेप्ट इज सिंपल फोकस स्ट्रैटेजी दैट अ कंपनी इम्बार्क्स अपॉन इट्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन द थ्री क्वेश्चन दैट ले फाउंडेशन फॉर हेजोग आर वॉट इज द सिंगल मोस्ट थिंग यू कैन बी ग्रेट एट वॉट कैन ड्राइव यर इकोनॉमिक इंजन एंड वॉट आर यू डीपली पैशनेट अबाउट गुड टू ग्रेट कंपनीज आर नॉट शीप्स हु रन बिहाइंड न्यू इनोवेशन इन टेक्नोलॉजी दे पेशेंटली वेट एंड रिफ्लेक्ट ओनली वेन दे फील दैट द टेक्नोलॉजी कैन बी ऑफ एनी वैल्यू एडिशन टू द हेजो कॉन्सेप्ट ओनली देन डू दे एड न्यू इनोवेशन एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टू द सिस्टम दे प्रेफर बींग अ कॉपी कैट देन अ इनोवेटर दम सेल्स सस्टेनेबल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फॉलो अ प्रोलॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ बिल्डअप बिफोर अ लास्टिंग ब्रेक थ्रू कैन टेक प्लेस देर आर नो क्विक फिक्सिस एंड जस्ट लाइक द अडैच गोज गुड थिंग्स कम्स टू दोज who wait the executives who ignited good to great transformation started by first getting the right people on the bus and the wrong people off the bus and then figured out where to drive it hiring the right people comes before determining vision strategy structure or tactics such people were recruited primarily for the character and work ethic rather than for educational skills or knowledge that's it guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe You can check out my last video on the Bible of Growth Investing written by Terry Smith. I will come again soon with summary of another investing book. Until then, cheers guys.